Hi guys, my name is Lars Islander and this is day 43 of the Year of Food. Uh, we've got a couple of things on the agenda today. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we've got some bits and pieces in the post that we're going to take a look at. Uh, then I've got uh, the formwork for the rocket mass heater that we cast yesterday. Uh, sorry, no, uh, that was on Tuesday. So that was now, it's now 48 hours since that's been done. So we're going to go and have a look at that now. Okay, so first up let's do a bit of housekeeping. Uh, in the post this morning arrived two new battery packs for my camera. Uh, unfortunately it's not possible to run this camera which is a Canon uh, S110 power shot. Um, I had to look at the top of the camera for a second there. Uh, you can't run it from the USB, uh, or you, sorry you can't power it from the USB, it goes into um, like computer download mode straight away. So these, are, uh, these were about £8 each and uh, I got a discount on them. From, uh, from my battery supplier which was onlinebatteries.com or something like that. I'll put a link in the description. So that's good. I'm going to keep these keep these ones charged and we're going to like leapfrog through batteries during filming so I don't have to sit and wait for batteries to recharge. I've got quite a few of these. These are um, the camera shoes for the tripods. Unfortunately the two tripods that I use for filming have different ones so uh, I've got a pair of each to work with. There's some more safety glasses because we've only got one pair and uh, and the pair that we've got is like a, a shades type one rather than a clear. So I've got some of those. I've replaced all the screws that I've used and finally, which is kind of the, the nicest thing, oops, yeah, stuck to the table, we've got a pump for the uh, uh, grow bag bed feeds. Um, this was fourteen ninety nine on Amazon, and uh, yeah, it actually comes with quite a lot of stuff. I mean, you've got like, all of the uh, all the things which I'm dropping. Anyway, so it doesn't come with a plug though, which is is that normal? I don't know. Okay, so this is how the formwork has been for the last uh, forty eight hours. Uh, you can see the stuff in the bucket. It's dried to a kind of a light grey. Just get a light on that. There we go. When I checked the casting at 24 hours after pouring, uh, it was solid, but it was still quite high moisture uh, content in that there's water dripping off it. You can see we've got quite a bit of condensation on the inside. I just pull off the plastic. There's condensation dripping off of that. So it's no longer warm, and for the first, uh, when I checked it at about 10 hours, it was actually quite warm where it had been curing. Uh, but it is now pretty solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this and we're going to try taking it apart. Hopefully it will be okay. <laughs> Couldn't remember where I put my screwdriver. better when you start burning as well? Uh, no, this stuff should cure um, as is. Okay, here we go. This looks good. You can see there's uh, there's like different coloured lines where I think 
what's happened there is either I've not rammed it as much or the cement is there's slightly more cement in it but it's looking good uh, the hole came out really nicely that was, that was just made with a, a block of wood that was sitting in there I've got a little bit of stuff came out like just up there but that's uh, that's nice um, yeah Brilliant. And then the other side looks pretty much the same. It's got the same like kind of strata going on. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is this is still quite uh, there's like a bit of moisture in it, so I'm going to uh, let this dry out for another uh, another day, give it another 24 hours, and then we'll take it out and burn the, the formwork out. Yeah. Cool, okay. Um, so I need to make a similar formwork for the uh, for the heat riser. What I might do is put a bit of sand in the mix to that as well, like maybe uh, uh, one part sand, one part cement, and four part and um, three parts for make your life something because I think that is going to need to be a bit stronger. Uh, I'd be interested to hear other people's thoughts on that and uh, and what your thoughts are on how this came out. So this is a, a closer look at the, the structure, the differences between the different striations. You can see there are holes, holes on the surface, but not really anything. What I could do is skim this with some more, uh, some more cement. That might be a way of doing it. If I mix up some sand and cement and just skim the whole thing. Although I don't know if it, I don't know if that's actually a required, uh, if that's going to be required. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has uh, been a pretty short video. I'm not going to go out and do anything in the polytunnel this afternoon, like I did say. I think I, in the introduction I said I was. Uh, it's getting a bit late, and I've got some web design stuff to do, so I need to go and sit and do some like computer work. Um, but I'm really happy with how this has turned out. It's not perfect, but it's not as bad as the original. <laughs> and uh, and if this sees me through, um, it just needs to run for six months that's it and then experiments over uh, and I make from what I've learned I make a better one uh, quite a lot of people have asked why didn't I make it out of fire bricks uh, I originally thought that was going to be at least twice as expensive as this but actually now the amount of mucking around time probably not it's probably you know it would have been cheaper to do it with fire bricks in the first place um, what I might do for the heat riser is actually do some, get some fire bricks if I can get some of those quick then uh, I'll do that instead uh, if not, I'll cast it, as I said. Okay, right, thanks for watching, guys. This is day 43 of the year of food, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Rock on. Bye.